please welcome to today's ladder flow style class. So we are going to be working toward um, a little bit of back bending toward the end of class, um, but the majority of this class is going to be um, ladder flow, which means we basically build a sequence repeating the same sequence and just adding on um, one extra pose um, each time we repeat it. It's a really um, nice way of practicing to build a lot of energy, build a lot of heat, and also it can be quite meditative as you move and repeat the sequence because you become very familiar with it. It's one of my favorite ways of practicing. So we're going to get started today's class in a child's pose. So nice and simple, you just come to your knees. Uh, we want uh, to open up through the hips a little bit as we will be coming into back bending. You need nice open hips. So bring your knees about hip width or wider than hip width. Extend your arms out in front and allow your forehead to soften to the mat. If this is too much, you can always bring the forehead to a block. Just allow the weight of your body to sink into the mat. Allow your bum to rest back on your heels. And we'll just begin our practice by bringing some focus to the breath. Beginning to connect in with your ujjayi or yogic breath. A slight restriction at the back of your throat. Allow the tongue to release from the roof of your mouth, keeping the tip of your tongue toward the front of the roof of your mouth, just behind your two front teeth. Feel the cool air at the back of your throat and allow it to expand your lungs, your belly, your lower back. Feel your rib cage flare out wide. And now starting to become a little bit active in your child's pose. So perhaps just pressing down into the fore or into the palms of your hands, allowing the forearms to slightly lift away from your mat, extending forward through fingertips, extending back through hips. Maybe if you want a little bit more, you'll flex onto the fingertips, flexing the palms of your hands away from the mat. And then slowly grinding down into the hands again and coming all the way forward into puppy pose. So you're going to come up onto your hands and your knees. Walk your knees so that they are underneath your hips and we're going to extend our arms forward. You want to be slightly toward the back of your mat so that you have space. Keep the hips directly over the knees. Walk the hands out in front. We're allowing our chest to sink down. Option A, forehead to mat. Option B, chin to mat. And option C, chin and chest to mat. So obviously that requires quite a deep compression for your upper spine. We're going to be here for a few breaths, so find somewhere where you can allow the weight of your body to sink into the mat. Allowing your chest to sink down. And breathing. Obviously, it's quite early in class, so you don't want to force your way through your practice. Take time to check in, to acknowledge how the body is today, whether stiff, open, tight, present, distracted. Acknowledge that and then we can practice from where we are rather than where we wish we were or where we're going. Slowly pushing into the hands. You can walk the knees in, walk the hands in, coming back onto hands and knees. We'll come straight into down dog. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure middle and ind at index finger, sorry, make sure middle or index finger are pointing toward the front edge of your mat ground through the knuckles and that especially the space between index finger and thumb. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and just taking some time here to feel into the body again. So making sure that you are again practicing uh, your down dog and not my down dog. So as you see here, I can straighten the legs while keeping length through the spine. 
Some days I need to bend slightly or a lot into the knees to find that length through the spine. So make sure that you check in and you notice if you're rounding through the back at all or shifting too much weight into the hands. See if it helps to bend the knees and shift weight back into the feet. We're going to roll forward into plank. And we're going to come onto the left hand for side plank, left side. You can stagger your feet or you can stack the right foot on top of the left. Tuck the tailbone, begin to strengthen up through the legs. Breathing here for five, lift up to your side body, feel free to modify by stepping the right foot in front of you for four, three, two, one. Right hand down, side plank, right side. So spin onto the outer edge of your right foot. Again, modify as you need. Keep your tailbone tucked, keep your quad strong. Feel free to step the left foot in front of you. Spin your right bicep forward, right tricep back to activate the shoulder. Three, breathe, two, one, left hand down to the mat, and downward facing dog, lift it all the way up and back. Inhale, roll forward, plank, exhale, lower with control to the belly. So keep your tailbone tucked, feel free to drop your knees lower like a plank. Come to your fingertips, inhale, lift the chest. Cobra, elbows back, point your toes, exhale, release all the way back down. Two more like that. Quads engage, kneecaps lift, lift the chest, shoulders slide down the back, exhale, release. One more time, inhale like a wave. Lift the chin perhaps, exhale, release. We're gonna come into up dog, so bring your hands back by your rib cage. You're gonna engage your thighs, push into your hands, lift your hips, lift your thighs, push down to the tops of your feet, inhale deeply, exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to start our ladder flow. Inhale, float right leg toward the sky. Exhale, step the right foot through between your hands. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up for low lunge. Exhale, cactus shape your arms. Elbows drawing back and down. Eventually, <clears throat> bring your fingers to the mat. Lift your left knee. Inhale, exhale, fold your hips back. Straighten your right leg. Feel free to use blocks here. And then inhale, come forward into the right knee. <clears throat> Sweep your arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, cactus shape the arms, squeeze the shoulders down, and bring the fingers to the mat. Push into your hands, three-legged dog. Float the right leg all the way up toward the sky. Inhale. Exhale, one-legged plank. Come forward onto the, uh, come forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists, inhale there, exhale lower, one leg chaturanga, elbows to ribs, top of right foot to mat, inhale up dog, top of left foot to mat, downward facing dog, exhale, inhale foot left leg toward the sky, exhale step it through between the hands, knee to nose, Side to belly, step the right foot or step the right knee down, inhale, arms lift. Low lunge, exhale, draw the elbows back and down, bend into the elbows, fingertips to mat. Inhale, lift your right knee, exhale, fold over a straight left leg, shift your hips back, feel free to use blocks. Come forward into the left knee, inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, elbows bend, cactus shape, and fingertips to mat. Push into your hands, left leg floats up, inhale. Exhale, one leg plank, shoulders over wrists. Keep your hips square, inhale here, push them out away. Exhale, squeeze your elbows to your ribs as you lower halfway. And then push into your hands to straighten your arms, left foot, right foot, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we repeat that, and we keep adding on each time we repeat this. Inhale, float right leg toward the sky. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, arms lift, low lunge. Exhale, elbow squeeze down. Cactus shape, fingertips, find your mat. Lift your left knee. Inhale, exhale, fold back. Inhale, arms lift overhead, right knee over right ankle. And exhale, cactus shape. This time, squeeze down. And then shoot the arms back up overhead, inhale. 
Exhale, twist right. Right arm back, left arm forward. So our shoulders are staying over our hips here. Our legs are fully active. We're grounding through the feet. And this right hip is moving back in space in line with the left. You're lifting up through the lower belly, holding here for three, two, one. Windmill hands all the way down to the mat. Three-legged dog. Inhale, flip right leg up. If this vinyasa is too much, modify. Roll forward, exhale. Inhale, one leg plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg floats. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot through between the hands. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, cactus shape. Squeeze the shoulders back. Lift the chest. Slight back bend. Fingertips find the mat. Lift your right knee and fold back as you exhale. Straighten your left leg. Remember, blocks can help here. Lunge forward into the left knee. Arms lift. High lunge. Push down through the feet. Exhale, cactus shape. Squeeze your elbows by your ribs and then inhale. Shoot the arms back up overhead. Twist to the left as you exhale. Navel to spine. Shoulders over hips. Sink deeper into the left knee. Lift your right heel. Arms, energy away from each other. Three. Breathe deeply. Two. One. Windmill hands all the way down. Three-legged dog. Float the left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Come forward. Shoulders over wrists. Square off the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows to ribs as you lower. Inhale. Top of left foot to mat. Straighten your arms, shoulders away from the ears. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. We'll keep going. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the right foot through nice and slow. With your breath, drop left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, cactus shape the arms, fingertips to mat. Lift the left knee and fold it back as you exhale, straighten your right leg, breathe into the right hamstring, and then lunge forward into the right knee, arms lift up, high lunge, inhale. Exhale, cactus shape, and shoot the arms back up, inhale. Exhale, twist right and reverse. Bring your right hand to your left thigh, left arm up and over the left ear. Keep your drishti point low, it's gonna help you with your balance. Keep your core hugging in toward your spine. Breathe and hold for three, for two, one. Windmill hands all the way down with control to the mat. Push into the hands, inhale, float the right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhaling there and exhale to the work. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, step the left foot through between your hands, drop the right knee. Arms left, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, elbows squeeze back and down, lift your chest, fingertips all the way down to the mat. Lift your right knee, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come forward into the left knee, arms lift all the way up overhead, high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, bend your elbows, cactus shape. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, twist left and come straight into your reverse lunge. Left arm finds your right hamstring or back of the right knee and the right arm extends up and over, finding that deep opening through right hip flexor, strengthening through the legs, preparing for our back bends and then windmill hands down to your mat, nice and slow. Float the left leg all the way up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, shoot forward. Shoulders over wrist. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. If you would like to add in chin stand, I will demonstrate in the next round, only if it's in your practice. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Drop the left knee down, inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, bend the elbows and then bring your tips by the mat. Lift your left knee, inhale, exhale, fold. Drawing that right hip back. Come forward into the right knee, inhale, arms lift. Exhale. 
Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, reverse. Twist to the right, right hand finds your left hamstring, left arm up. And now we're going to come into a full twist. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and bring the palms to prayer. Option here to drop the back knee if you're having trouble with balance. Slide your belly past your right thigh. Lift your heart toward your hands. Stack your right shoulder on top of your left. If you want to fly away or bind here, you can. Making sure the left elbow stays to the outside of your right knee. Space across the chest, hug that right hip back. And then slowly hands to prayer. Frame the right foot with your hands. Float the right leg up. Inhale. Exhale forward. This is where you can introduce chin stand. You lower, keeping the right leg lifted and taking little hops. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, put left leg up. Exhale, step it through with control, rounding through your back, lifting your hips. Drop your right knee, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift. Lift up through the lower belly. Exhale, elbows draw back and down. Fingertips find mat. Inhale, lift your right knee. Exhale, shift back and fold. And then come forward into the left knee. Arms lift, inhale. High lunge, exhale, bend elbows. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reverse twist. Twist to the left and then find your left hand to your right hamstring, right arm lift, inhale, exhale, twist, right elbow to outside of left knee. So if you need to modify, drop the right knee, bring the hands to prayer and try to lift your heart toward your thumbs. Draw your lower belly up and in. And like before, if you want to fly away, you can. Right arm down, left arm up. Right tricep stays to the outside of your right knee. You can bind as well if that's available. Open, breathe, three, two, lift the right knee, one, release, palms to prayer, and then hands by the mat. Float the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, come forward, flowing through your vinyasa of choice. If you want to introduce your chin down, you come. And then up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, float right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot through. Drop the left knee. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, cactus shape. Fingertips find the mat. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, hips back. Fold. Come forward into the right knee, inhale, arms lift up overhead, high lunge, crescent, navel to spine. Exhale, cactus shape, and then inhale, arms lift. Exhale, twist right, reverse. Right hand spine, left hamstring, left arm up and over the ear. And then elbow, left elbow to outside of right knee, palms to prayer. Twist. Come back to center and open into warrior two. So you're going to drop the back heel and open. Heel to arch alignment with the feet, shoulders over the hips. Ground through the outer edge of the left foot. Draw your tailbone down and push your hips forward. Check that you should be able to see the right big toe on the inside of the right knee. Flip your right hand, inhale. Exhale, reverse. Left hand finds the left thigh. Right arm up and over the ear. Chin tucking toward the shoulder. Space through your right side body. And then coming into your side angle, big from tradition, right hand either, or right elbow either to the right knee, left arm extends up, or you can bring the right hand to a block or to the mat on the inside of the right foot. Bring your gaze toward your left thumb up toward the ceiling. Push your hips forward, sink your right hip toward the front of your mat. Strong through the back leg. And then slowly left hand down to the mat. Spin onto the ball of the back foot. Frame your right foot and vinyasa. Float the right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward. I'm dying here. This is <laughs> torture having to uh, speak because I can barely breathe. Exhale. Lower. 
Inhale, up dog. Introduce chin stand if you want. Exhale, down dog. Oh, God. I need to take a nice, full, deep breath in here. So maybe you need to join me. Inhale, full. Fill your lungs, fill your belly. And exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Ah. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Let's keep going. Moving with our breath. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, to step through between the hands. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, arms lift, low lunge. Exhale, bend the elbow, squeeze the elbows back. Fingertips find the mat. Lift your right knee, inhale, exhale. Shift the hips back and fold as much as feels good for you into the left leg. And then bend back into the left knee, arms lift, crescent pose. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit wobbly. Exhale, cactus shape your arms to open the chest, activate the shoulders. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist left. Right arm forward, left arm back. Reverse the lunge. Left hand finds your right thigh. And then twist right elbow to outside of the left knee. Palms to prayer. Strong through the right thigh. And then come back to center for warrior two. So hover your belly above your left thigh, drop your right heel, and windmill up and open into warrior two. So you want to check that your shoulders are directly over the hips, that you're not leaning even slightly forward. Gaze over your middle finger of your left hand. Soften the shoulders down the back. Inner thigh strong. Ground through the outer edge of the right foot. Next inhale, flip your left hand toward the sky. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Breathe into your left side body. Stay lunging into the left knee. Your lower back is lengthening down. And then lift back up for side angle. Any variation, either elbow to knee or left hand inside of left foot to block your mat. Right arm lifts. Really nice to use that left tricep to keep the left knee wide. Push your hips forward. Outer edge of right foot grounds. And then right hand down. Frame your left foot. Spin onto the ball of the right foot. Float the left leg all the way up. Inhale. Exhale forward. One leg plank. Into one leg chaturanga, into up dog. Breathing in and exhale down dog. Okay, let's keep going with our breath. Inhale, float right leg up. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, arms lift, slow lunge. Exhale, bending your elbows to bring the fingertips all the way down to the mat. Lift your left knee, inhale, exhale, shift your hips back and fold in over the right shin. Come forward into the right knee, inhale, crescent, strong legs. Lift your lower belly up and in. Exhale, elbows down, lift your chest, slight back bend. Inhale, arms lift all the way back up. Exhale, twist right and find reverse twisted lunge. Find your left hamstring, left arm up and over. And then twist, palms to prayer at the heart, a left elbow finds outer edge of right knee. Twist, use elbow to knee on for leverage. Back to center for warrior two. Drop your back heel, inhale, open. Exhale to sit a little bit lower. And then right palm lifts or flips. Exhale, reverse your lunge or reverse your warrior into side angle. Any variation, right hand can come down, left arm up. And then left hand comes down, spin onto the ball of the left foot, and lift your right arm toward the sky. Easy twist. So you have a nice tripod base here. Not a lot of strength involved. Nice opening for the outer edge of your right hip. Holding it here, find that space across your chest. Now begin to activate into the left arm. So shifting some more weight as you spin your left bicep forward, activate the shoulder, drop onto the outer edge of your left foot, and step the right foot back for a side plank, either halfway back, you can stagger your feet, stack your feet, hover the right leg, whatever it is, holding it here for five, breathe for four, three, two, wild thing, you're gonna step that right toe behind you, Lift your hips toward the sky and extend your right arm toward the front of your mat. Breathe for five. Lift your hips and engage your core for four, three, two, one. 
and three-legged dog. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Float the right leg all the way up. Inhale. Exhale forward, one leg plank. Exhale, one leg chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Float the left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, pack to shake the arms. Lift the chest, find that space across the collarbones, fingertips to match. Lift the right knee and fold back. Keep the hips square. Come forward into the left knee, high lunge, arms lift. Exhale, cactus shape arms. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, twist left. Left hand finds right hamstring, reverse twisted lunge, right arm extends up, and then right elbow finds outside of left knee. Keep your right knee lifted. Palms to prayer. Belly in, warrior two. Back to center, drop your back heel and windmill up and open. Sit down into your seat. Flip your left hand, inhale, exhale, reverse. And come all the way back up, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Right arm lift. Bring the right hand down to the mat, spin onto the ball of the right foot and lift your left arm, easy twist. Holding it here, just finding that tripod base, finding your hips sink forward, your right hip flex, your stretch, right quad engage. Side plank, spin onto the outer edge of your right foot, you can come into any variation that makes you feel connected, that makes you feel strong, and most importantly, where you can breathe. For three, Tuck the tailbone, strong legs for two, lift your hips. One wild thing, set the left leg behind you, lift your hips. Extend the left arm toward the front of the studio for three. Lift your hips more for two. Find that space in your front body, one. And then three-legged dog. Look down, bring the left hand to the mat. Curl the left leg in, and then lift the left leg. Inhale, exhale, forward, and down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You'll be happy to know we only have one round left. Okay, and then we start our back bends. We need nice and warm for our back bend. So inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the right foot through. Drop the left knee down, arms lift, low lunge. Exhale, bend the elbows. Find the mat with your fingers. Lift the left knee, inhale, exhale, fold. Come forward into the right knee and inhale, arms lift. Exhale, cactus shape the arms. Inhale, arms overhead. I nearly made a mistake there. Exhale to the right. You probably know it better than I do at this stage. Left arm lift, right hand finds the back of your left hamstring. And then twist, left elbow, outer edge of right knee. Palms to prayer, use that elbow knee as leverage to lift the chest, twist deeper. And warrior two, windmill open. Drop the back heel. Next inhale, flip your right hand, exhale, reverse your warrior. Come all the way back up through warrior two into side angle. And the left hand comes down, spin onto the ball of the back foot. Lift your right arm, straight right come into your side plank. Drop the back heel, step the right foot back. From side plank, step right foot behind you, wild thing, lift your hips, extend right arm back. And then this time, come back through side plank. You're gonna spin onto the outer edge of the left foot, draw your right knee in towards your chest, and then step the right foot to the front of your mat again. So from your lizard lunge, you're gonna bring your right foot as wide as your mat, bring both hands on the inside of the right foot, extend your chest forward, and you can have the option to either keep your left quad lifted and engaged, or you can even drop the left knee down. So obviously with the left knee lift, you're gonna build a little bit more heat, and you're gonna strengthen into the left quad a little bit more. But at this stage throughout the class, you might feel like you need a little bit of a rest. Check back in with your breath. If you'd like to come down onto forearms, that's always an option if you're quite open in your hips. But just avoid rounding through the spine too much. You want to keep energy back through the left heel, energy forward through the uh, chest. Breathe three, two, 
and one. Slowly come to your hands. Step back into a three-legged dog. So tucking the left toe, lifting the right leg all the way up. Inhale. Exhale forward, one leg plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Or cobra, exhale, down dog. Okay, inhale, the left leg toward the sky. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Drop the right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, cactus shake the arms to find fingertips on the mat. Lift your right knee, inhale, exhale, fold back. Straighten the left leg. Come forward into the left knee, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, cactus shake arms, squeeze shoulder blades together. Inhale, shoot the arms back overhead. Exhale, twist left. Reverse this twist. Bring the left hand to the right hamstring. Right arm extends up. And then find the right arm or right elbow to the outside of the left knee coming into that twisted lunge. Press the elbow into the knee as you lift the heart toward the hands. And then warrior two, come back to center and drop that back heel. Windmill arms open. Flip the left hand. Inhale, reverse. As you exhale, extend the left arm over the left ear. Side angle, come all the way up through warrior two. Inhale, exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Allow your hips to sink into it, and then right hand comes down to the mat. We're gonna spin onto the ball of the right foot, lift your left arm, and come straight into your side plank on the right. So dropping the back heel, stepping the left foot back, halfway, fully, look forward, hover. And then wild thing, left toe finds the mat behind you. You lift your hips, extend the left arm toward the front of your mat. And then back, past that side plank again. So on the ninth edge of your right foot, you're gonna hug your left knee into the chest. And with control, step the left foot to the front of your mat. Lizard lunge on the left. Adjust as much as you need. So hands are underneath the shoulders or elbows to the mat. You can keep that right quad lifted. Try to draw that right femur bone into its socket. So now try not to collapse into the hips. You want to square off your hips, hugging the left hip back, swiveling the right hip forward, energy forward through the chest. Feel free to move in this stretch or find stillness, whatever feels best for your body. Breathe for three, hold for two, and one, push down into the hands. Tuck the right toe and put the left leg up. Inhale. Exhale forward. Inhale there. Exhale lower. Elbows to ribs. Inhale. Top to feet to mount up dog. Exhale down dog. Okay, so we have one more round of this ladder flow. You might be happy to know. Okay. So from here, inhale, put right leg all the way up. Exhale, step the right foot through between the hands. Bite to the belly as you bring the right foot all the way through. Drop the left knee. Inhale, low lunge, arms up, shoulders over hips. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders back and down. Elbows draw toward the side body. Fingers find the mat. Lift the left knee. Inhale, exhale, sink back and fold. Like a dance, come forward into the right knee. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders back. Elbows draw down. Inhale, shoot the arms overhead, navel to spine. Exhale, twist. Right arm back, left arm forward, reverse. Right hand finds your left hamstring, left arm up. And then come all the way into that twist. Left elbow to outside of right knee, palms to prayer. Twisting the belly past the thigh, left, block, left quad, fully active. And then hover your belly just over your thigh. Drop the back to the warrior two. Windmill arms open, inhale. Flip your right hand, exhale, reverse the warrior. Stay lunging in the right knee. Inhale, up through warrior two. Exhale, side angle, right hand to inside of right foot. Left arm reaches toward the ceiling. And then left hand down for side plunge. Spin onto the outer edge of the left foot and step your right foot back. Lift your hips, keep your pubic bone hugging up toward your belly button. And then wild things, step the right foot behind you, lift your hips, find that nice back bend and opening through the front body. Lizard lunge, bring the right knee to your chest. And with control, step the right foot to the front of your mat. Right hand to inside of right foot, stretch the chest forward. Now we're gonna come into a forearm plank. 
If you're on your forearms in your lizard lunge, you can step straight into your forearm plank. If you're on your hands, step into plank and then drop to your forearms. So we're all going to meet in a forearm plank. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Chest forward. Don't pike the sit bones up. You're extending your tailbone and your lower back towards your heels. Chest forward. Push the chest away from the mat. So you're lifting the chest away. Rounding through your upper back. And then dolphin, you're going to begin to walk the feet in. Look back toward your feet. And hold it here. Try to knit your ribcage in. Lifting your sit bones back. Wrapping your triceps in. If you need, just like in down dog, take that nice big bend through the knees. Push down through the hands. If you lack shoulder mobility, always feel free to um, interlock the fingers. And if you want to hop into Pinchamarasana, you can always take a few hops. If that's not in your practice, please don't feel like you have to. You can even just do one or two leg lifts. You can walk the feet in as close as possible. Lift the right leg in forward. Maybe you take a hop. And then slowly we're going to lift the right leg toward the sky. One leg dolphin into one leg down dog. Lift your elbows two at the same time. Inhale there. Exhale forward, one leg plank. And then lower elbows to ribs. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And last time we're going to do this. Inhale, flip left leg up. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Drop the right knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, bend the elbows, fingertips, spine the mat. Lift your right knee, inhale, exhale, fold, straighten the left leg. And then come forward, into the left knee, high lunge, inhale, lift arms. Exhale, squeeze shoulders back and down, to shape the arms, energy through the fingers. Inhale, shoot it overhead. Exhale, twist left, right arm forward, left arm back, and then reverse. Twist again, right elbow finds the outside of the left knee, nice and slow, controlled. Palms to prayer, lift your right quad, twist a little bit more. Warrior two, hover the belly over your left thigh, drop the back heel and open. Shoulders over the hips, inhale, flip the left hand, exhale, reverse. Keep the left knee bent, inhale, all the way back up, exhale, side angle. Right hand comes down, spin onto the ball of the back foot and into the outside of the right foot for side plank, right side. Keep your hips lifting, use your obliques, your waist. Step the left foot behind you. Lift your hips wildly. Step the left foot to the front of your mat with control, lizard lunge. You're either on your hands or your forearms. Okay, so from here I'm going to drop to my forearms. I'm going to bring my elbows shoulder width distance, chest forward. And then I'm going to simply step the left foot back. Forearm plank. So again, your shoulders are directly over your elbows. Your middle fingers are an extension of your forearms. Your forearms are parallel with each other. Rib cage in, chest lifting away from mat, doming through your upper back with your quads. Down spin, walk the toes in. And look back toward toes or toward the belly button. Feel free to bend the knees as much as you need. Holding here, or if you want to take some hops into pinch marasana, you can. And then we're all going to lift the left leg toward the sky, lift your elbows, three leg a dog, and then shift forward into your one leg plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Drop your knees. Knees together, feet together. Sit back, child's pose. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, bring your arms back by your feet. 
Allow the forehead to rest on the mat. Allow your breath to slow down. the fingers just above the sacral area of your back, the lower back. Knuckle to knuckle grip. Stretch your arms back. Lift the arms up. Find that stretch in the shoulders. You can stay where you are. Or if you want, you can lift your bum, lift your hips toward the sky, roll onto the crown of your head. I'll lift the arms a little bit higher. So not a lot of weight in the crown of the head. You're lifting up to your fingers. You're lifting your hips. Push down to the top of your feet. And slowly come all the way back down. Release the hands. Sit back up onto the shins. Go Mukhasana in the arms. If you want to use a strap, you can use a strap. So what you're going to do is bring the right arm up behind the head. Left hand finds your right elbow. Direct the right elbow across. And then from there, if you have the bind, you can bring that left arm down behind the back and interlock your fingers or even hold on to your jumper or a strap. Try not to allow your chin to be um, collapsing down toward your chest. You want to push the head back into the arm. Find like you're holding an apple underneath your chin. Rib cage down. Soften the shoulders, relax the jaw. Enjoy this slower aspect of the class. You completed your ladder flow. I'm sure you all are very warm. You created that inner heat, that inner fire. And with that heat, we're going to see if we can find some more or deeper flexible poses. Moving a little bit more into our back bending, compressing our spine. It's important when we move into these that you still engage your core. Your core is actually really important in back bending. Release the grip and roll it out if you need. You can roll the shoulders and then opposite side. You're going to bring the left arm up behind the head. Reach for the elbow, the opposite hand. Direct the elbow behind the head. You can either stay here if that's enough or you bring that right arm behind you. Interlock the fingers. Or strap, or find your t-shirt. Gently lengthen through the back of the neck. Softly push the head into the arm. Find a steady pace through the breath. Again, trying to soften the shoulders. Deepen the breath. Let go of any unnecessary tension in your neck, your jaw, behind your ears. And slowly you can release the arms. Okay, we're going to come into a regular camel. So you can come to standing on your knees. If you have sensitive knees, always feel free to double over your mat for your knees. And then you can come onto that doubled over section of the mat. So make sure your knees are directly underneath your hips. So they're hip width distance. You can bring up the lock if you like, if you tend to get pinching in the lower back and find it hard to activate your thighs and pelvic floor. You can bring block between your um, thighs toward the upper section of your thighs. And then from here we're going to bring the hands to the back. So you're going to bring your hands um, so that the heels of your hands are almost just underneath your rib cage. You draw the elbows back in space to find the space across the chest. Now here we're not curving the spine. Okay, we're lengthening down. Okay, so tailbone lengthens down. You push down through the top of the feet. And I want you to imagine like we're lifting your hips and your rib cage toward the sky. Okay, so gently push your hips forward. Lift the hips, lift the rib cage, lift the chest, and maybe look up. We hold it here. Elbows drawing in. Remember your belly, so navel hugging up and in. Push the hips forward, lift the hip bones, lift the ribcage, lift the chest, 
and then push into the bottom of the hips, back over the knees, shoulders over hips, and just take a moment. Okay, so a lot of things can happen when you back bend. You can lose your mind a little bit. We're not used to doing it in our everyday lives. So you can forget where you are, your name, my name, whatever it is, and you can feel quite overwhelmed. So always feel free to take a break, but see if it's because you are holding your breath. Often when we're in um, really challenging um, areas of our practice or our lives, the first thing we do is compromise our breath, which actually makes the challenge 10 times harder. So see if this time you can keep that connection to your breath and notice how much easier it feels, how much, how much Notice how much more um, comfortable you feel in that challenging space. Come on, find your knees. If you're thinking of maybe going for your heels this time, feel free to tuck the toes. It makes it a lot easier and makes the heels just closer towards you, less of a back bend, unless you're very comfortable in your panel. So again, you can bring the block between the thighs if you want. Hands to the lower back. Push the fingers into the lower back so you should feel that length, no curve in the lower back. Push your hips forward, begin to lift your hips, your ribcage, your chest, and then maybe you look up, maybe you look back. Breathe, notice the breath, and maybe you reach for the heels. Fingers on the inside, thumb on the outside. Lift your chest, keep the hips pressing forward. Keep the hip bones lifting up. Rib cage lifting up for three. Breathe into it. Two. Don't collapse back. One. And then hands to your back. Come all the way back up. And release. Bump to your heels and tuck the toes. Take a moment to allow the effects of that pose wash over your body. Don't resist the sensations that come after the back bend. Allow them to be without judgment. Reconnect with the breath. Okay, we're gonna come onto our belly. So I'd like you to uh, come down with control onto the belly, taking up the full length of your mat. And we're gonna make a nice uh, shoulder opener with our arms. So I'd like you to bring your arms out into a cactus shape. Elbows in line with your um, shoulders, wrists in line with your elbows, so you're creating that 90 degree angle with your elbows, or with your um, upper arm and your forearm. So from here, you're gonna look to the left, right here to the mat, and then you use your left hand, you push into the left hand, and roll onto the outer edge of your right hip. Now, as you do that, the right elbow is gonna slide away a bit. The left foot can either stay on top of the right, it can stagger behind the right, or it can start to slide back. So the more you slide that left leg back, the more your torso is going to open towards the ceiling, and the deeper the opening is going to be for the right shoulder, the deeper the twist for the spine. So find your most challenging space, or where you begin to feel the pulling in the right shoulder. We would just want to find a gentle stretch here without force. So breathe deeply. This can feel quite intense for the right shoulder. So just be mindful that you're not pushing too deeply. Allow your breath to be steady. Ease out of it a little bit. 
find somewhere where you can breathe, where there is zero pain, and maybe just a slight discomfort in the left shoulder. We want to create that sense of being mindful and every time we get to our mat, strengthen that connection that we have with our body. We can really listen and find that edge of comfort and discomfort. That's where we grow. That's where we learn about ourselves, our strengths, our weaknesses. strengths and our weaknesses, that's where we find our truth or where we find our most authentic self. We find acceptance of ourselves as we are. Okay, so slowly rolling onto the belly. Use the right hand as a brake pad. And then we're going to come into another back bend on our bellies. Okay, so you're going to extend your legs back, point your toes. And we're going to reach our arms back by our side body. So bring your forehead to the mat initially. You're going to bring the palms to face up. We're going to come into a full uh, floating position. So you're going to float legs, arms, chest. Keep your pubic bone pushing down. Keep your legs fully active. And try to think about navel to spine. So we're using the pelvic floor strength to support us. Take a nice full deep inhale. And exhale, float the legs, float the arms, float the chest. Use the muscles of your back, navel to spine, pubic bone down, holding it here for five. Try to lift the ribcage, four, three, two, stay where you are, extend your arms all the way forward. Palms now face each other, thumbs point up for five. Navel to spine, four, try to lift even higher, three, two, one. Release. Well done. Take a little break. Bring your arms by your side body. Look to the right. Maybe you sway your hips a little bit left to right. We're going to come into a bow pose from here. So I'm going to get you to um, bend your knees and reach back for the outer edges of your feet. So you're going to hold all ten fingers around the feet. Make sure your knees are in line with your hips. Your pubic bone is pressing down, lengthen through your lower back, navel to spine, shoulders soft. And then you're gonna kick from your inner thigh to your big toes. So kick, back, and up. So I like to roll weight forward onto the belly here. There's loads of different variations if you prefer to be back on the pubic bone, that's fine. Lift the lower belly up and in. Kick back from your inner thighs to your big toes. Make sure your knees are still in line with hips for three. Soften the shoulders. Two and one. Release. Release the feet. Look to the left. Arms by your side body. Sway the hips left to right. Back up, 
So since we've done a lot of opening in the upper back, we're going to do one more wheel. We option to come to forearm wheel. So um, if you are very uncomfortable in your dolphin, maybe just come back to dolphin now. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, maybe just come back to dolphin or practice your wheel again. The more comfortable you are in wheel, the easier or more accessible your forearm wheel will be. So I'm just going to um, take my jumper off. Loose your hurt. Um, because you need quite a good grip with your elbows or forearms on the mat for this one. So um, having long sleeves might um, hinder you slightly in um, finding that grip and that strength or connection to the mat. So set up again, feet hip width, come into any back bend of choice. Again, if you want to watch for the first time, if you've never done a forearm wheel and think you're ready to give it a go, that's an option. So same again, hands by your ears, fingers point back, elbows hugging in. And we're going to lift up. You can come to the crown of the head first or all the way up. Now from here, I'm going to lower down. I, I like to lift my heels. Lower down onto the crown of the head. Get my elbows to the mat. Creep my fingers toward my head. Make sure the palms of your hands are on the mat or if you want, you can interlace the fingers. And then from there, you're going to lift the head and push the chest back. So for our wheel, if you want, you can keep the heels lifted, or you can drop the heels down. Holding here for five, wherever you are. Four, engage in your thighs. Three, two, breathe. One, to come out of forearm wheel, bring the crown of the head down. I like to lift my heels. Get the hands back to where they were. Tuck the chin as I push into the hands and roll from upper to middle to lower back. Well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to point our toes up toward the sky. And I'd like you to extend your arms up toward the sky. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Make a little yogi now with your hands, pointing index finger, interlacing the rest of the fingers. Curl your lower back slightly away from the mat, and then lower your right leg down. Extend your right fingers forward with the right leg, and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right leg lifts, left leg lowers, arms on the inside of the right thigh for 10, pulse. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Bring the toes. One, and left leg lift, and release. Okay, so that's really just to, for anyone who's feeling sensitive in the lower back, it's good to engage the core. The core is what supports your back. And the stronger your core is, the less you're gonna arch in your lower back and dip weight into the lower back. So really good just to activate the core during, after, before back bending. Okay. So from here, I'm going to come into a plow pose. It's one of my favorite poses to come into after um, back bending. So if you would like to join me, you bring your arms by your side body, knees to chest, and begin to lift your hips. Toes come to the mat behind you. Interlock your fingers if that's available for you. Lifting the hips toward the sky. You can tuck the toes or bring the top of the toes to the mat. Space between the chin and the chest slightly. No looking left or right. Holding it here and breathing into your lower back, into your middle back, the space in front of your shoulders. From here, I'd like you to release the grip of your fingers, bend your knees, and bring your knees to frame your ears. Now the toenail side of your feet is on the mat, and you're maybe going to reach behind your calves or over your calves and reach for opposite wrist with opposite hand. Death man's pose or ear pressure pose. So knees are sinking down toward the earth by your ears. Again, breathe into your lower back.
to release, you can lift your knees, bring the arms by your side toward the front of the mat, and use your arms as brake pads to lower from upper to middle to low back. Well done. I'm going to close myself again. And then fish pose from there, you're going to bring your hands underneath the bum, palms face down. Extend your arms forward or your legs forward, point your toes, push into your elbows, walk the elbows in underneath the back, and then just lift the chest. Allow your chin to sink back, collarbones broad, space in the heart, opening the throat and the top of the chin, and release onto your back. Okay, so if you feel <coughs> there's anything you need to do before we finish, happy baby, twisting, whatever it is, please do. And then we'll all meet in our final Shavasana, our final resting pose. Bring your hands onto the belly. I'm just feeling the lower belly lift and right. Just feeling the lower belly moving with the natural pace of your breath. So you have just stepped onto your mat and given your body time to listen. You've given your mind time to be quiet. From all of the outside unnecessary chatter that we seem to live with consistently. Yoga is your time to find your authentic self. Again, to recognize moments where you feel ease, moments where you feel discomfort, and finding the source of that discomfort so that you can either accept it or make the choice to change it. The more mindful we become on our mats, the more mindful we become off our mats. It is here where we can create healthy habits for ourselves so we can be deeply happy, which is what we all want. So I'd love if you paused the video, you gave yourself five, if even 10 minutes if you had it in Shavasana, just to fully allow the body to be motionless, fully absorbing the benefits of your practice. And then whenever you are finished with your Shavasana, you can press play again and rejoin us. Slowly rolling over onto the right side of your body. into a female position using your left hand to push gently into the mat to come all the way up to see it. So stacking your shoulders over your hips, sit up tall through your spine, resting your hands on your lap, your knees, and just take a moment to recognize the effect of your practice today without judgment, with full of with full acceptance of how you are able to move today. The great thing about this class is that it is available for you on YouTube anytime you want to repeat it. So don't worry, today's class was full of struggle. Next time it might be struggle again, but maybe a little bit less. Next time it might be full of ease, and then next time it might be struggle again. So it's so important not to have expectation. To simply accept. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and sharing your time with me. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Connecting in with your breath, with yourself. Bowing your chin towards your chest and honoring your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much. That was a tall class. 
Um, so I really hope you enjoyed that kind of back bending style lateral flow. Um, it's one of my favorite types of classes, as you all know. Um, so if you enjoyed it, if you found it too difficult, too easy, let me know. I'm always happy to modify. Um, and see you next week for some more yoga flows.